for reachable graphs, we have the following definition. If it exists at least one path through the graph from the state 0 to the state S, then S is reachable from S0. A state transition graph with a starting state S0 is then called reachable if all the states are reachable from S0. And a graph with starting state 0 can be realized by the reachable part of the graph. So here we are making the assumption that our state 0, S0, is our starting state and we will not start in any other state of the graph. The minimal graph is defined as being the reduced form of a reachable graph. So in order to find the minimal form of a graph, what we do is that we first remove all the states from our set of states that are not reachable from the state S0. That is, we want to find the reachable part of the graph. Then, when we have done that, we use our RF algorithm to find a reduced form of this graph. So first we find the reachable graph and then we find the reduced form of this reachable graph and that will give us our minimal graph. So let us look at an example of this. We have the following graph with six different states, S1 up to S6. By this arrow here, we clarify that the starting state here is the one that we now have called S1. And note that we call this S0 in the definition, but this is just a name. In this actual graph, we just call the starting state S1. So this is what we're going to use. We have one input signal and one output signal, so the inputs can be 0 or 1, and the outputs can also be 0 or 1. So let us start here by writing the state transition table. So if we are in state S1, we, with a 0 as an input, we go to state S5, and we have a 1 as an output. And similarly, if we have an input as 1, we go to S4 and outputs a 0. And then for S2, we have S6 and 1, and S3 and 0. For S3, we have S4 and 1, and we have S1 and 1. For S4, we have S3, 1, S1, 1. For S5, we have S3, 1, and S6, 1. And for S6, we have S4, 1, and finally S3, 1. And now we want to find the reachable part of the graph. So which states can we reach from S1 in this case? So we can see that if we start in S1, we can definitely go to S4 and S5. If we look at S4 and S5 now, we can see that we can go to S1, S3 and S6. So the only state we have not considered here is S2. So can we get to S2? Well, we can see from the state transition table is that we will never have a state transition that goes to S2. So S2 is not reachable in our state. Transition graph. So the reachable graph can be described by this next state transition table, where we have removed the state S2. So now we have only five different states instead of six, as we had before. So now we're going to do the RF algorithm and we're going to use this reachable graph and state transition table for the reachable graph when we do our RF algorithm. So the first thing we do is that we form P1, which we do by grouping the states by their output function. And what we can see here is that the state S1 will have the output function 1, 0. That is, we have a 1 as an output when we get the 0 as an input, and we have a 0 as output when we get the 1 as an input. For all the other states, we have the output function that we can call 1, 1. So that is, we get a 1 as an output if we get the 0 as input, and also if we get a 1 as an input. So we can group the other states. So we have S3, S4, S5, and S6 in this partition. For the next partition that we call P2, we will look at the next state function instead. So 
Again, we will have S1 in its own partition. There's nothing we can do about that. And then let us see if we can form other partitions here. So let us start with the one that for sure contains S3. What can we say about S3? Well, we can see that if it has a zero as input, then it will go to S4. So with a zero as input, it will go to this partition. And with a one as an input, it will go to S1. So with a one, it will go to this partition here. For S4, with a zero as an input, we go to this partition as well with the zero that we had before here. And with a one as an input, we go to S1. So this is in the same partition as S3. If we look at S5, with a zero as input, we go to this partition here because we go to S3. And with a one as an input, we go to S6, which is also this partition here. So both for zero and one, we will go to this same partition. So this is not the same case as we had for S3 and S4. So S5 will be in, its, in a new partition. So let us now look at S6. With a zero as an input, we go to S4. And with a one as an input, we go to S3. So this is the same as we had for the case with S5. So S5 and S6 will be in the same partitions. And then we can close these partitions because we have now covered all our states. And since P1 and P2 are not equal, we continue with P3. So we have S1 in its own partition. Then let's see what we have for S3. With a zero as input, we go to S4. So we go here with a zero. And with a one as an input, we go to S1. So we go to this partition with a one as an input. For S4, we go to S3 with a one, uh, with a zero as an input. And since P2 and P3 are not equal, we have to do one more step in our algorithms. So we have P4. Again, we have S1 as itself. And the main thing we need to check now is, is S3 and S4 still equivalent states? Well, let's check them. So S3, if we have a zero as an input, we go to S4. So we go to this partition here. With a one as an input, we go to S1. So we go to this partition here. And for S4, with a zero as an input, we go to S3. So it will still go here and with a one as an input, it will also go to S1. So it will still go to this partition over here. So this means that S3 and S4 are still equivalent. And S5 and S6, we have to write them still in their own partition. And we see now that our partitions P3 and P4 are equal. So we have found equivalent states and we are done with our RF algorithm. So what we can do now is that we can write our new state transition table for this reduced form. So we have the state S1. S2 we already removed because it is not reachable. We have the state that we can now call S34. We have S5 and we have S6. And we have the two possible input combinations 0 and 1. So if we are in state S1 and we get a zero as an input, we go to state S5 and we output a one. If we get a one as an input, we go to the state that we now call S34 and we output a zero. If we are in state S34, we will, with an input zero, stay in S34 and our output will be one. And with a one as an input, we go to the state that is called S1 with a one as an output. For S5, we have S34 and 1, and we have S6 and 1. And for S6, we have S34 and 1, and again we have S34 and a 1. And we can, of course, also write our corresponding state transition graph that is now of minimal form. So it's a minimal graph that we have. So it has only four states now compared to six states from the beginning. So here S1 with a zero, we go to S5. 
and a 1 as an output. With a 1, we go to S3, 4, with a 0 as an output. In S3, 4, we stay with a 0 as an input and a 1 as an output, and we go back to S1 if we have a 1 input, and then we get output 1. For S5, with a 0 as input, we go to the state that we call S3, 4, and we output a 1. And with a 1 as an input, we go to the state S6, with a 1 as an output. And if we finally are in state 6, we go to state S4, S3, 4, with both our inputs, and our outputs will be a 1. So this is our minimal graph.